Look, I, 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 just to be clear, I'm not trying to bring you down today. I'm trying to give you a reality check. There are things that are going to be gone in the next five years, 10 years, and 20 years. Things are going to be gone. Because the ruling class will demand it so, right? So when you look at your appliances, realize that they're all under attack. And when we can't impeach Alejandro Mayorkas, now for, for an asterisk on that, it's going to come back for a revote. When Steve Scalise is back in session and Republicans hopefully win the special election on Long Island this next week, they'll have a little bit of a cushion to take out Mayorkas. It's still in play. But the fact that you have people like Ken Buck still in Congress is embarrassing. A standalone bill for Israel support lost yesterday, too. People like Chip Roy voting against it. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you people? You, 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 you want to have standalone votes, and then when you have one that makes sense, you turn it down anyway. So what's going to be gone? Well, I don't really need to address guns in the Second Amendment. They're well on their way out to outlawing all private ownership of guns right now. Believe me. They only black off for a moment here and there, and trust me, that's for show. But they're like rust. They keep eating away at our God-given rights. I mean, they don't even believe in God anyway, so why would they care about your rights? And the clock on private citizens owning guns is running out fast. I know you're not going to turn yours in. Me either. In fact, I only give private ownership of guns less than two years after the left decimates the Supreme Court. I expect that to happen before 2030. Again, how convenient for the globalists with a plan for your future and everyone else. Anyone who dares to keep a gun, of course, will be branded a criminal, punished with severe penalties, and by then hunting and fishing will also be heavily restricted, if not banned outright. Self-sufficiency is illegal. Every year you will see your rights diminished and the power of the WAF, the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, United Nations, and some new agencies that haven't even been created or named yet will be expanding exponentially. You can bank on that. You'll do so as you're told there will be no exceptions. And speaking of banks, you won't be needing one of those very much longer as the central bank digital currencies will be replacing cash. In fact, that's already started as well, like so many other things I've already outlined here today. Every nickel or farthing or whatever they call the new world currency that will be controlled by China will be tracked, taxed, and monitored. And you'll be told what you can buy, what you can't buy. You'll also be told when you can buy anything at all. Much of that under the banner of stopping crime, like robberies and drug dealing. But those things will certainly continue. None of that will stop. Of course, when you sit down to dinner, uh, it's going to look different. You'll see some pale vegetables grown in substandard operations that will give you just enough to get by. You're not going to enjoy it much. It'll be bland and tasteless. And of course, after they finish their war on farms, farmers, and farming, there'll be zero meat for you. None. Again, this will be all done in the name of progress and directed by the ever more powerful central planners that, by the way, will eat meat, will drive private vehicles, and enjoy many other opulent perks because, you know... They have to understand how things work to make sure they can make the best decisions for you. There will be no morality left. The whole everything goes attitude will have expanded. Kids will be able to see pornography at five and get sex change procedures at the same age until those in charge determine they have sufficiently controlled everyone. I would be remiss, by the way, if I didn't point out there will not be any private property at all. Maybe I should just make that part clear. Because the only way to truly arrive at this socialist utopia is an end to all private ownership of anything. Karl Marx and his little red book, you know, the one guy that was wrong about more things than anything ever written down, Karl Marx, that's what they go, that's what they go by. You will own nothing and you will be happy. That's the mantra. The Weffers, they want complete and unadulterated control, and they get that by controlling everything, including especially private property. This is what I call the ghosts of socialists' present and socialists' future. It would be what Dickens would have written had he seen the cesspool we're finding ourselves in right now with power-hungry elitists and globalists clawing at the power structure every single day. I mean, sure, everything seems okay at the moment. You can go to the store, plenty of food on the shelves, gas stations open. Things look pretty normal for the most part. But things are not as they appear, and things are far from normal. And the whole pandemic exercise was exactly that, an exercise. Now they've ironed out a few of the wrinkles and gotten rid of some of the bumps in the road. We're being invaded. 
Our currency is getting destroyed. And our nation is being dragged into at least one war, and soon maybe more than one. And again, I don't believe any more that any of this is by accident. It all seems quite coordinated. Soon we could see the great war I feared when I was young, but thought was no longer possible after Reykjavik. But it appears I was a bit too optimistic. And I suggest strongly that you find alternative information sources whilst you still can. Listen to people like Tucker Carlson, Jordan Peterson. Really listen to what they are telling you and understand your God-given rights and your God-given freedoms are under attack in ways I never would have thought possible in the United States of America or Canada or Europe or Australia. But the hunger for total power and control is unrelenting, and the quest for that power is overwhelming, it seems. Others worth listening to, Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, get some alternative perspectives from people you may not agree with, but agree with you on the fact that the Constitution and your freedom of speech and the Bill of Rights is in deep jeopardy like RFK Jr. or Bill Maher. Listen to some people that believe in those portions. This doesn't have to be the future. But unless we can find a way to get to the off-ramp, we're in deep trouble. Oh, and one more thing. Mitch McConnell, please resign. Could you take James Lankford with you, too? Because right now, strangely enough, John Fetterman seems to be making more sense and doing a better job than you clowns. Think about that. Think about that. Ah, oh, I've had a moment today. Doesn't have to be the future. But you better wake up if it's not going to be. Better wake up from this dream and change our socialists' future.